I'm not a medical professional or dietitian, so please consult your own doctor or medical practitioner before stopping medication, doing exercises or any dietary changes. Hello again, it's only me. Um, it's been a crazy five weeks. It's been a crazy five weeks. First of all, the first week you saw I was 600 kilos, which was pound, pound and a quarter, something like that. And then it's just gone, it's just gone batshit crazy after that. So instead of going straight to the weigh-in, I'm gonna do a bit of a recap for you so you can see just how crazy it's been. And that's just the weight side. Guess who's no longer taking as many blood pressure medications as he used to. And there's the other benefits of having a healthier diet as well. It's a win, win, win. I just can't believe it's this easy. Told you it was good. So in the last eight weeks, I have lost 6.2 kilos, which is over 13 and a half pounds. I have also lost 1.5% uh, fat and down 2.1 points on my BMI. Looking good. So what do you eat? I don't hear you asking. Anything I got damn right, really, as long as it's uh, low in the carbs. Example. All vegetables except for potatoes, yams, sweet potatoes, anything starchy like that. All the meats, you know, the usual suspects pork, beef, chicken, lamb, bacon, kind of bacon, uh, any processed meats, and sausages above 70% meat content. Fats, they're very demonised at the moment, but you can eat butter, olive oil, anything like that, lard, beef dipping. What you've got to avoid is the sunflower seeds, rape seeds, vegetable oils, all those because they're highly mechanised and the way that they um, produce the oil is very chemical driven. And there's nuts, seeds, full fat milk, eggs, cheese, yogurts, avocados, anything like that. Don't worry about the fat, it's all good for you. So I'll leave a link in the description box below about fats. Hey, anyway, sir, what have you seen? So I will leave a link in the description box below uh, re with regards to a documentary on YouTube. Very good documentary and it goes through how fat has been demonised when there was no real need for it to be. And how the myth came about that we all need carbohydrates as the main source of our calories and energy needs. Junior in the filming. Junior in the filming. Seeing squirrels. Just the squirrels there. Just the squirrels. No. Oh, they've come to rack and ruin. So, well, that's all the things that I can eat. What can't I eat? Well, there's obviously the starchy vegetables, potatoes, rice, pasta, bread, any wheat products or any grains. Also, can't eat any fruit except for strawberries, blackberries, blackcurrants, raspberries, anything like that. I looked into doing the keto diet, but that was just far too restrictive. Um, you've got to keep your carb intake between 20 and 50 grams of carbs a day. Now, just to put that in some sort of perspective, two slices of bread, two small potatoes is 50 grams of carbs. So obviously you're going to get through your carbs pretty quick if you're still eating the starchy vegetables and bread. What I try to do is keep everything at 7%, so anything below 7% carbs I can eat as much as I like. Anything above, it's got to be in slight moderation. But once you get into the gist of it, it's quite pretty pretty easy to do. I mean, um, if you like a bit of brown sauce on your uh, bacon. 
Um, tablespoon of brown sauce, 18, 18 calories, something like five, six grams of carbs. If you're only using a bit, then why not? And a bit later on, I'll do some uh, meal ideas that I, I, I tend to use that, that seem to be doing the trick for me. Another thing to look at is when you're doing a low carb diet, the amount of water that you lose. Now, a lot of the weight that I've lost is going to be water weight. I didn't know this fact, but for every one gram of carbs that you don't have in your body, the body expels three to four grams of water. So if I've lost four, four kilos, then probably two, two and a half of these are water. And it also explains why if you have a carb heavy meal, you feel bloated the next day, with water retention. So it's all to do with the carbs. So that's basically where I am today. Um, it's looking pretty good, it's looking pretty good. That brilliant feeling when you just had a workout, go to the showers and your towel fits around your waist and it tucks itself in and you don't have to hold it as you walk into the shower. Result. Dispose of them properly. <laughs>